good morning or good night, I'm not really sure. It's 2.25 in the morning and we are going up Mount Batua, which is an active volcano. We're going to hike through the night to see sunrise. Our driver's outside. Shannon, nice to meet you. I'm IG. I didn't really have time to do much research, so I hope what I have on is warm enough for at the top. I'll set. Yep. This is by far the highest mountain that I've ever climbed. The volcano lasted up to the year 2000, so fingers crossed there's not another one on the way. Five past four in the morning, so let's see what time we get up the hill. It's a really nice temperature for walking. Finally on the even ground, I thought it was going to be like that the whole way up. Jackets are off already. Way steeper than I thought it was going to be, it's going to be hard. Yeah. So it's sort of creepy because behind us there is just nothing but darkness aiming in like every direction. Well, I don't even think we're halfway. I was not expecting it to be this difficult. Our guide just told us that it gets worse from here, but we are taking kind of frequent breaks so it's not too bad. But I am literally like dripping already and we've only been on like 20, 25 minutes maybe. Almost halfway. See like left and right of us is like just sheer drop. Kind of glad we're doing this in the dark, you can't see it. More kind of like rocks you have to climb up now. I'm feeling a bit better knowing that we're at the top. 10 minutes. It's a little more tricky now. Well done, Shannon. Hey. Made it. How was that? Tough. Glad we're at the top now. Hey. Yes. So we get breakfast included, so I think we get breakfast and a coffee, so we're gonna get that and then watch the sunrise. You can see it's starting a little bit over here. Breakfast time, let's see what we've got. You hungry? I actually am, I'm starving. It's absolutely freezing up here. This is the coldest we've felt in like almost five months since leaving the UK and it's really nice to breathe in some like fresh air. Got some it? sandwiches. <gasps> oh, do you want to... Bus candy. <laughs> Bananas. Yeah, Plus a banana sandwich. Yeah. Your first one? Uh huh. I'm kind of feeling a bit weird about it. <laughs> It's so weird. <laughs> That's us heading on now. I think we might just be walking up here before we head back down. We have a dog that's joined us on our expedition. He's leading the way. <laughs> It's so warm, it's so nice in my hand. <laughs> the view up here is insane, like 360, it's just amazing. Just 
behind this car, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a kind of ridge walk thing, like an edge. Um, I don't really like that, I don't really like heights and when you throw like a drop into it as well, it throws me off a little bit, so I was just trying to not think about it and just walk straight. Mm. Makes me feel a little bit anxious, but done okay, I think. We're just going to enjoy the view before we start heading down. I think it takes around an hour to get down to the bottom again. Fingers crossed it's not as difficult as the way up. So I, I don't know how far down but my legs are like shaking so badly. My knees are like going to give in. <laughs> I'd say it's like equally as hard to go back down than it is going up. I don't know if it's because my legs are already a bit done in but I'm getting there. Did you catch that? Almost fell. So that's us almost there, we can finally see the bottom, um, it's been pretty difficult, I've fell like three times to be honest, but luckily I didn't hurt myself. I think that's past the worst of it, it's really bad because it's like, this, well, this is quite, that's actually not bad for how it was, it's like volcanic ash kind of gravel stuff, and it's like that thick, so it's almost like sand, like really thick sand, so you just slide down it and it's really tight turns with like a massive drop. Sometimes you're just sliding and you're completely out of control. <laughs> you just have to hope and pray that you don't continue and go right over the edge because you're not getting back up off that. I took like full concentration to like watch every step in front of me there. It was really steep but I was just trying to not look like get the whole hill down and just concentrate on the little like, two or three steps in front of me and break it down that way. It kind of got a little bit easier but yeah, definitely raises the heart rate. It's a little bit scary when it's like out of control and you can just slide and slide. It's not a nice feeling at all, but I think that's past, that's us past the, the worst of it now, so we just think it's easy enough for the last bit to the bottom. Yeah, this surface is certainly much better than the gravel. I've not slipped yet. <laughs> Finally, we're back on flat ground. Oh, can't like explain how happy I am. My knees are like going that shaky way, so when I put weight on them, I'm like, is it going to hold? <sighs> Not good. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning. It's mad to think we walked up here earlier on this morning. I had no idea what it looked like. <laughs> Yeah, exactly what Shannon said. We walked through all this beautiful... ...scenery earlier on. Had no clue this is what it looked like. It's absolutely beautiful, but it was pitch black when we walked through, so... Yeah, that was an amazing day and it's definitely like an adventure that I'll remember forever. It was just unreal. Loved it. Yeah, I'm on the same day, but it's actually only like a half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So yeah. we've still got the full day ahead of us. Hill walking's not at all our kind of thing, but we really enjoyed that. But I will say that's enough hill walking to do me for at least like five, six years. I don't need to do anything like that again anytime soon. So we made the booking for the sunrise hike on booking.com, but you can make it um, on any of the sites online or you can even organise it through hotels or tourist information sites at the sides of the road. We just recommend doing it on booking.com because it took us less than 30 seconds. You just put your address in, you get picked up, you get a breakfast, you get a guide to take you up and back down and you get dropped back at your hotel. In fact, you don't get dropped back at your hotel. It also includes a visit to the coffee plantation, which we didn't realise until this morning, so we've got that after. We kind of just want to go home to bed, but <laughs> who knows, that might be fun. Um, but yeah, if you book it through that, you know, if something goes wrong, you're guaranteed because booking.com's there. You pay by card. It's insured and verified with booking.com, so it's a little bit extra security by doing that. You can add a link for the trip down um, in the comments section, but um, it's amazing, amazing experience, and I would definitely 
definitely recommend if you were in the area. Thank you for watching.